lovely friends welcome to my channel creative art i am dilima and today i am going to tell you all the materials needed to make a beautiful meenakari painting meenakari is a traditional indian jewelry technique in which gold silver or other metals are colored with the help of enameling mineral substance over it so i thought to give you a very close look to the meenakari jewelries i have the first one is a pair of beautiful jhumkas which is enameled with colors blue red and green over a golden surface the metal used in it is originally not gold but it was colored as gold and then the enameling process was done on it these are very commonly available and look equally beautiful but friends let's take a look to original meenakari jewelry so these are the rarest and very less available nowadays to find such a beautiful piece you may have to travel to rajasthan and get the original meenakari necklace as i have done so the base of the necklace is made up of gold and it is embedded with pearls ruby and few beautiful stones you can clearly see the shine in the stones which is completely because it is embedded on gold and these are the enameling done on the golden color surface so this one is the real gold and this one is the golden color surface nowadays friends the same process of meenakari is being done on different utensils home decor jewelry box stools and variety of ornaments keeping the concept original i have came up with the idea of meenakari painting and this is how beautiful it looks friends i have tried my best possibilities to keep the concept of meenakari jewelry as original by making the base surface of gold and embedding it with beautiful pearls stones and enameling so friends if you watch my meenakari videos you'll get to learn all the process to make such beautiful meenakari paintings yourself so friends let's quickly take a brief look towards meenakari painting materials now first of all friends we will start from the base of a meenakari painting to create a base friends we are going to use this kind of cone which contains a mixture of marble powder and arabic gum do watch the video till the end where i'm going to tell you the perfect recipe to make this cone which is going to give the jewelry part a structure and shape it will be the same process for example constructing this kind of jhumka with clay and on that you can see the oxidized gold color so this gold color can be obtained by placing a 24 karat gold foil which i like to do in major parts of jewelry and friends if the jewelry part are very minute where it is not possible to place a gold foil you can also use a 24 karat artist gold color i use a locally available brand but you can also buy the same antique gold shade from premium artist range of camel for your best paintings friends always try to use the best materials if you want to do meenakari as a home decor for example to make a stool or to make a jewelry box you're going to need a bigger surface so it would be very much better to use a aluminum foil on the same clay structure which i'll be showing you in my future video so that you can get a very clear idea of it other than that friends if you're going to do meenakari on glass specifically on glass friends you have to use 261 metallic gold camel glass liner which is water based so friends this was all about the base for meenakari next is the coloring part the colors used to create this enamel art are metal oxidized mixed with a dash of powdered glass i think that's a bit difficult to find nowadays or it will be a difficult process but the most difficult process was the mixtures did not reveal the actual color until the product was fired in a furnace so now you know when you convert a jewelry process into a decor process there are 
necessary changes to be made so friends for enameling which is coloring we are going to use fabricril glass colors these are water based you can also use the solvent based colors for more permanent effects these give you the same brilliant colors actually you get the same effect and a very very beautiful look if you have observed it in my previous videos so this was at the enameling part i'm going to use glass colors other than that for jewelry you can see pearl work on the radha krishna part so these were the beautiful pearls i used these are not real pearls but called the pearl beads and these are the smallest size because it was a miniature painting on which i did a meenakari part so i have to use the smallest beads of colors stones this kind of silver stone string its color will also last forever other than that for bigger paintings you can use this kind of bigger stones and these are the artificial stones most commonly available golden and silver color the stones are made up of glass but the background will be polished with gold so it reflects a very beautiful shine these are available in variety of colors light pink dark pink green you ask them any color and it will be there but here are the real minas these are the real minas they cost you a lot a small packet of this costed me 70 rupees which maybe have approximately 30 pieces of minas the enameling done on them are original the back side is colored with some metal oxide so it looks golden and gives you a dark pigmented color look the same stones are used for tanjore painting but these ones are costly as compared to packet of this ones you may get approximately 100 stones in it and it costs you just 25 rupees and you can have as many colors as you want these comes in three shapes round rectangular and square and three to four sizes only to stick the minas on place you have to use a glue and a stick so i prefer to use fabricril fabrica glue because it dries strong hard and transparent when it is dry so if there is any remaining glue it won't be visible as it is transparent and a bamboo stick to pick up the glue sometimes i also do use a tweezer if the stones are bigger in size so now friends let's check out the recipe to make this cone first of all we are going to need marble dust powder this is especially for hobbyist and professional artist and this is one of the finest marble powder I found online so we are going to use a marble dust powder secondly we will need Arabic gum in the previous video I have shown you how to make this kind of Arabic gum yourself just by keeping the solid gum pieces overnight dipped in water you will get a liquid Arabic gum in this way now for preparing the base and for that I'm using marble powder in my cup this is a approximate amount I have for because I know what amount of Arabic gum I have to add so here it goes and now mix it properly yeah friends you can see the consistency of the paste I have prepared so this is quite thick but not very thick and this is the consistency I want so now I'm going to pour it in my cone this is the cone I have made you can also use small bottles like this if you're not comfortable with cone okay this is the way i have hold my cone and then i'm pouring the paste in it we don't have to fill up our cone totally this much would be enough so that we may comfortably see the cone in this way first hold it in this way apply tape and then fold it Hold the corners, then again use tape to seal it. At the end, hold the last edge. Make the cone tight, as tight as possible. This is how you have to pack the cone. And yeah, your cone is ready. So friends, these are all the materials you're ever going to need to make a Meenakari painting or else a home decor like a jewelry box. All the materials I have shown in this video are listed in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy them. And friends, do watch the beautiful Meenakari painting videos I have already posted on my channel. You can simply search them by the name Meenakari painting and
and you'll get to watch a video from creative art and friends do not forget to subscribe my channel and share this video so that everyone can know about a new painting technique of Meena Kari. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy your day friends.